Are you ready to be shocked? Did you know Iran has the fastest growing evangelical population in the world? Did you know Islam is experiencing its greatest defeat in its history in Iran today? Did you know according to Jeremiah 49, 38, the Lord will set his throne in Elam, which is today's land of Iran? Hi, my name is Hormoz Shariat. I am the president of Iran Alive. At Iran Alive, we are reaching out to the nation of Iran, a nation who has rejected Islam and opened to the message of the gospel. We are seeing thousands of Iranians come to Christ every month. What we do is we use satellite television. We go over the heads of the mullahs into people's homes and the privacy of their homes. We tell them about Jesus Christ. And you know what? Their hearts are so open to the message of the gospel. Yes, they have rejected Islam, but they're so open to the message of the gospel if they hear the gospel. What we did last year is that through the COVID, we said, let's focus on evangelism. People are at home. They're not working. They're at home during the day. They turn on their television. So we focused on evangelism and not just evangelistic programs, but, but we taught the people how to share the gospel themselves. Can you believe it? Since last year, we have seen the number of salvations grow 10 to 20 times. Actually, 30% of all the salvation in the last 20 years came in the COVID years. Last year, 2020. With Iran Alive, we are able to transform Iran into a Christian nation. That's our goal. That's our vision. We have a school for training people. See, we don't just evangelize. We train people, we disciple people, we plant underground churches. We have over 2,000 students that we are training to serve the Lord. Now, may I ask you to pray for us? First, pray against the spirit of Islam. That's the Prince of Persia mentioned in the Bible. Prince of Persia, this dark spirit over Iran. Let's pray and bind that spirit together. So the captives, Muslim captives will be set free. Once we pray, against that spirit, he loses his power in that nation, and we see more and more Muslims come to Christ. Would you pray for the new generation of leaders that we are training, that they might be men and mighty men and women of God who will transform Iran? And would you pray for me and for us to get God's wisdom, God's strategy, so we know what to do at what time to transform Iran into a Christian nation? Thank you for your prayers.